What's up guys, in today's video, I'm gonna explain chemical engineering as quickly as I can. So let's get right into the video. A chemical engineer is someone who oversees large industrial scale processes. The most common job title for a chemical engineer is a process engineer or a process development engineer. On a day-to-day -day basis, your main responsibility is to make sure that everything is running smoothly in the plant. Let's say a pump goes down in the plant, well then you might have to talk to operators to see what's going on. You might have to look at control system data to figure out what is going on. Uh, maybe around the different equipment surrounding that thing. If you can't figure it out quickly, maybe you'll have to design a set of experiments to figure out what went wrong. If things are going well, maybe you can look into different optimization projects. Chemical engineers are constantly thinking about how we can improve the processes that we manage. Before you make any changes in the plant, you really have to come up with a detailed set of economic analyses, feasibility analysis to make sure that you don't ruin anything else in the plant, and some of these capital projects can take years to install. In more research and development based roles, you could be looking into how to scale up chemical process from the lab scale all the way up to commercial scale. New processes like direct air capture, hydrogen fuel cells, and other alternative energies are constantly being researched and developed into larger scale processes. Your first core subject in chemical engineering will be material and energy balances. Just like a company has financial statements to keep track of the money flowing in and flowing out of the company to determine their overall profitability, a chemical engineer has to take into account the ins and outs of a plant to make sure that the overall system is efficient. At the core of every chemical process is a reactor. In reactor design, you'll learn about the different equations governing these chemical reactors from batch reactors to continuously stirred reactors to plug flow reactors. Each of these reactors can be applied to a different chemical process and you'll learn about how to optimize these different types of reactors. Next up, we have process control. Every piece of equipment at the plant has a certain temperature, pressure, and set of operating conditions that you have to run it at to make sure that it's running safely and efficiently. What this requires is certain operational techniques to make sure that they're always operating at their most efficient and safe region. Next up, we have heat and mass transfer. You'll learn about the different modes of heat transfer, conduction, convection, and radiation. And then you'll apply those concepts to design equipment such as heat exchangers. And lastly, one of our main courses is gonna be fluid mechanics, which is learning about how liquids and gases move in systems. In this course, you'll learn about the different types of flow, such as laminar flow and turbulent flow. And you'll also learn about how to account for pressure drops in pipes. I think one of the most common misconceptions is that chemical engineering is all about chemistry. In my first year of general engineering, I took one chemistry course. In my second year, where I specialized into chemical engineering, I took three chemistry courses, inorganic chem, organic chem, and physical chem. Although there's not a ton of dedicated chemistry courses in chemical engineering, there is going to be a lot of math and physics. I don't say this to discourage you, but I want you to know that there's a whole lot more that goes into chemical engineering than just chemistry. You have to understand how to move gases and liquids in a system. You have to understand how heat travels. Although chemistry is an important part of chemical engineering, there are a lot of other core subjects that are gonna be equally as important for you to learn and understand as a chemical engineer. Some of the most common industries in chemical engineering include oil and gas, semiconductors, batteries, biopharmacy, pulp and paper, and basically any industry that produces large amounts of material or energy is going to require a chemical engineer to oversee production. So finally, should you go into chemical engineering? Well, that's a question you have to answer for yourself. As chemical engineers, I think we have a huge impact on global issues like climate change, sustainabilities, and large scale industrial processes. I think the problems that we solve as chemical engineers are really important. And if you want to be a part of solving these problems, then I definitely recommend you become a chemical engineer. I'll leave a list of some of the most exciting companies that I think you should look into if you're considering chemical engineering. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope that you consider chemical engineering as a career path and I'll see you in next week's video.